Okay, so we have our boils. This is a traditional, actually is mirror food. So Stephanie got, what did you get? You got one? I got eggplant and uh, artichoke. Artichoke, right, and that's what I got too. Eggplant and artichoke. Two are for now and two are for later. I'm not eating <laughs> four at once. And Stephanie got a chai, that looks so beautiful. That's Isn't that a, that's beautiful? It's a lovely color. Oh, I regret that. I got the French press coffee, but this I really regret my decision. So this is our breakfast. And this is the street we're on. It's just like a little back street with all these hole in the wall cafes. Super cute decoration. This cafe is called Munire. And it has all this like antique, retro kind of vintage stuff. I actually haven't been to Pamukkale, I know it's like... It looks really cool. Like, I'll be working for some time down there, too. You're not working today, right? <laughs> you guys I can't even tell you like last night I did not sleep because I was sweltering it was so hot Izmir is so hot <sighs> so yeah I think right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to buy a juice do you guys see wedding right now uh, I don't usually dress like this so I'm actually um where the hell am I I'm in Uchikura, Uchikura like near Balchova and my friend who is the bride her friend is coming to pick me up because I don't know how to get there so I'm actually waiting at the port and yeah I'm like all all dressed up to the nines so we shall see how this wedding goes it's my friend Elif um, and then coincidentally my other friend is getting married tonight too on the other side of the city of course so I'm gonna try my best to make it to this wedding make an appearance and then run back and then go see my friend get married so we'll see I don't know if it's going to work out but Wish me luck. around Alsanjak right now. It's early. I have to go run some errands in another part of the city, but I just wanted to like come on and talk for a minute 
Um, first of all, I'm so sorry, like, this vlog is kind of mediocre and shitty. These last couple of weeks have been super, like, stressful and busy trying to acclimate and just the living situation, like, trying to find an apartment, living at Airbnbs, it's been, like, pretty stressful. If anyone in Izmir has advice about getting an apartment, like, let me know. But on a brighter note, I totally wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your support on the last vlog that I posted. Like, oh my god, that was so nice. Everyone just keeps writing these really sweet comments on that last vlog <coughs> um, when I arrived in Turkey. And it like totally just makes my day seeing you guys like love these Turkish vlogs so it's definitely inspiring me to like do more so I'm gonna try my best to like make some better quality vlogs right now I know it's like all over the place I just kind of vlog when I when I have a minute my all sun jacks oops cars are coming Sanjak. This is like the seaside is there. I don't know if you can see it, but usually this street is super crowded. So the fact that I'm here so early makes it easier to vlog. So this is the main street in Izmir. This is Kıbrıs'ta, and it's in Al Sanjak. And normally, you guys like this street is packed. Like today's Saturday, so tonight. This street will be crammed full of like buskers, drunk people, just everyone. <coughs> There's lots of bars here. Um, so yeah, but because I'm here at like 8 a.m., there's no one here, of course. A little bit of kibbutzitri. shops are currently closed Turkish shops do not open early like I don't know these will probably open at like 10 something like that but they do have little pastry stands out these are everywhere selling traditional little pastries um, this is a really cute street streets this is Gazi Kadınlar Street this street is super pretty um, at nighttime you guys this is gonna be full of just bars, clubs, parties. Let me show you. This is a club. These are all kind of clubs. And the seaside is right down there. So you can just walk right to the seaside. So if you like clubbing, Gazi Kazanlar Street is the place for you. It's really popular. It's called Faruna. Um, it's got like that kind of antique vibe. <coughs> and this is the cafe I'm gonna go to. I already went there um, with Stephanie, but I'm gonna go again because I'm too lazy to have anything else. Now we are literally in the center of Al Sanjak. This is the main train station. There it says Al Sanjak. There is a tramway there, really useful. And then the seaside is right there, literally right there. So, yep, we are going to the train station. Oh. You guys, look at all the dogs. Look, there's a little water thing for the dogs because there's just so many street dogs in Turkey. Now entering 
the train station. This is the card that I'm going to use. If you ever need to refill your cards, you do it there. And they do have English options. And then there's two sides, so it'll take you to either side of the city. And just be careful when you use this card because they have a weird system. They just started this year um, where you have to have at least like eight lira on your card. And then even though it only costs three lira for each trip, you, it takes eight lira <laughs> and then when you get off the train you have to scan the card again and then it gives you back like five it's a really weird system and I don't really think it's necessary but yeah guys we are in Alsanjak we are going in the oh shoot you can't see it on here but on the uh, Menemen direction and they are building I'm guessing this is a football stadium two hours this place is gonna be packed so do not look at this vlog and think like oh it's so peaceful and quiet H hell no it's not <laughs> guys the train's here oh my god it's coming so slowly you guys usually it just like flies in here but this is the train So Izmir is a gulf. So this is Bayraklı, as I said. Over here, on this half of the city, um, you have like Urla, Gizabache, Balchova, Hatay, Gestepe, um, and then there's Alsanjak. Like, do you see this right here? This big thing? I said, I was like, oh, it looks like Area 51. That's Alsanjak. That's where we just came from. And then on this half of the city, you have like for example Karsjeka, like this is all Karsjeka. Karsjeka is huge. Um, you also have like Mavishir, Chili, you have to go like back, back, back though. And then the ferry boats just constantly are going across the sea. So they're going from example, for example, from like Karsjeka to Alsanjak or Konak, like Konak is over here, Konak to Bostanza. <laughs> thought I would tell you this. Whenever I go to Starbucks, I always tell them that my name is Jansu. It's not. My name's Chelsea. But I get kind of embarrassed because they'll ask, like, what's your name? And I'll be like, um, Ch Chelsea. And I'll be like, what? J Jesse? And I have to, like, spell it out. So I just started telling them Jansu. 
it's a Turkish girl's name, and it's like easy to say, so I'm just like, is it Chosu? Sometimes they look at me like, that's not your name, is it? But yeah, so I just thought that was funny. I am actually looking for a Zeytinyalı restaurant. It's like an olive oil restaurant um, where they make homemade food, and I'm going to buy some of that to go, take it back to my Airbnb, and I have some work to do on my computer all afternoon, so I kind of have to hurry. I'm inside the restaurant, Zeytinyalı restaurant. Of course, of Turk. We have some little like 